to the semi-final of the League Cup. The uh, landmarks just keep on coming at the moment, don't they? Yeah, I think um, it's just a must-win game for us. I think to keep the momentum going, especially just the feel-good factor around the club. I think um, Blackpool were way below par. Uh, there's no excuses for that. But tonight, I think we didn't play our best, but we found a way to win the game. And um, teams who do things and have success at any level of a knacker winning uh, games like that and we showed that tonight it's a filthy night i'm sure it was horrible to defend out there wasn't it and, and a night when you really were coming under some pressure and had to maintain your concentration no slips yeah i think um we're guilty at times of individual er errors um in the midfield we gave a couple away with both fullbacks bombing on as well and it left me and willie against the two strikers we addressed that half time and then in the second half, I gave a couple of sloppy balls away. Should have booted one into Rose Ed, but tried to head it back in field. And it's one of them you watch after and you think, what am I doing? But you get away with it. And yeah, we were, we were resolute enough, but still a couple of little bits that were... Um, I mean, I went to the manager after, yes, get in. And he's like, we didn't play well enough. <laughs> but that's, that's the pressure that he puts on us. And you, you get a sense that... You know what, you're playing in the Premier League now, you can't um, be giving those chances away on a regular basis and expect not to get punished. And we got away with it at times tonight, but look, to go through on penalties again is it's a good way to go through. I feel sorry for Wolves and the young lad who missed at the end, but at the end of the day, we've, like I said, we've found a knacker winning games like that as we did last season and uh, we're slowly getting to it this year. Confident penalty from the skipper as well? Yeah, psycho-esque, apparently, <laughs> I, I, I heard, but I'm not sure about that. He missed his first one, though, didn't he? Um, but no, yeah, it's, um, we're practising before the cup ties. Um, I'm not going to give away our secret, but we're two from two at the city ground, so yeah, we're doing all right. Yeah, two from two at the Bridgeford end. Did you choose that end again? No, you know what, I think it was, uh, who's their captain? Neves, uh, who, who chose that end. But yeah, we've got our own little secrets, and um, I'll tell you off there. <laughs> I look forward to it. Um, it's you, you know you, you're getting it going in the Premier League. I know it's tough. I know there's a lot of work to do in the Premier League, but you're out of the relegation zone. And as I said at the start of this interview, Joe, the milestones just keep on coming. Those first time in a generation moments, mm. and now you've got the semi-final. It's a heck of a time to play for this club, isn't it? It is. Um, I don't think there is ever a bad time to play for Forest. But like you say, we're we're, we're on the crest of a wave last year, and you slowly, well, you don't slowly you come back down to earth after 10 games in the Prem and you're trying your hardest to get above that dotted line. But we set those targets last year as well. We've been up against it ever since the manager's come in the building. I think the cards have been stacked against us. There's things flying off the pitch and um, how many signings, all this. And it's, it's, it's tiring and we just need to concentrate on ourselves and... and we have a knack of winning important football matches and I, th I don't think that's a bad bad thing to have as a side and the group's coming together slowly and I think fans and you guys can see that we're starting to have a bit of an identity and we're chalk and cheese from what we were at the start of the year um, and yeah it's something that we need to keep building on with not the finished article yet and um, hopefully we can keep progressing up the table and to be in the semi-finals of a, of a cup competition is just fantastic. It's what you dream of as, as a kid, whether it's FA Cup or Carabao. But yeah, it's fantastic and something that every game that we play, especially here at home, is a winnable game. We always say that um, before kick-off and uh, throughout the week and it's something that we need to... We've addressed the away form that hasn't been good enough, but yeah, we're... We're winning, seem to be putting in decent enough performances in these in these big games, must-win games, in inverted commas, Southampton away. We've got a massive one coming up at Leicester, and this one was, for us, a, a must-win to keep that feel-good factor with the fans, with the players in the dressing room, that belief, and going to Leicester riding high. I mentioned Leicester in a moment, but before we leave the League Cup, I should ask you about Manchester United, two legs in the semi-final. I mean, it's a tough draw, but you've got to beat the best sometime, haven't you? Yeah, well... They're in the, the last four for a reason, but so are we. So that's it. We'll bring that on when it comes. But as you say, in terms of the Premier League, they don't come much bigger than Leicester at home on uh, at the weekend. Correct. Um, we own one. They they played brilliantly um, at the King Power. Um, beat us all ends up. And they were, they were really good on the day. Again, we were below par, but we're still sussing things out. And I think it's a good time to play them. I think they'll be 
Um, they've got loads of quality, but so have we, and we're slowly piecing together and um, the identity of our squad and the players and, and the managers, obviously, seeing, seeing a lot more of us now than, than he did when the players came in, in in the summer. And, yeah, we're looking forward to it. I am, anyway. You mentioned earlier that you had chalk and cheese from the start of the season, chalk and cheese from the last time you played Leicester, and I know you got heavily beaten, but it's a different prospect facing them at the weekend. Yeah, definitely. Um, by chalk and cheese, I mean, we, we know each other a lot better. We have a, a better game plan. We approach games a lot differently than we did then. Not that we... We're probably a bit naive is the word to use... Um, probably at the start of the year thinking right we'll, we'll play how we did last year and we'll blow teams away and get Jono going and all but this league's so difficult you can't be flying up the, up the pitch at every opportunity you need to be a bit more streetwise and, and that's what we have been and yeah I think we're a lot tighter defensively battles are being won in, in the midfield now um, and yeah and we've got such a such a good group of players that are ready at any point and I think obviously the Blackpool game wasn't great but it, we're going to need everyone uh, at any time and like you see obviously Willie goes off today and Scotty comes on and, and plays well and we're going to need the whole the whole squad if we're going to achieve um, success this year. Well done tonight and we Thank look forward much. to Saturday. Cheers. Thanks Joe. Thank you.